Hello, my name is Colin, and I'm currently the brass captain. I play in the jazz and went on several groups, and also do choir. Today, we will learn about marking time. So, watch and learn. So, why do we mark time? Just ask that to yourself. Why do we mark time? Well, we mark time to keep beat, and keeping beat is very important. And we all know. The beat keeps the band together. So playing together is very important. Okay, everyone has a responsibility of keeping the time in their head and always being aware. So we as musicians, we always have to make sure we are keeping the beat. And now we are going to move on to a marking time exercise. So I ended up doing a voiceover so it would be easier for you guys to hear. Now we're going to start with our left foot with this exercise and you're going to uh, peel off your foot in a heel to toe motion and that's going to be one beat and then another beat is going to be off. When that foot is supposed to be off, it's supposed to be off, okay? Up and off. That foot should be off. It should not be still touching the ground. To give you guys a little bit better visual, this is uh, beat two off and your toe should be at your ankle. Moving on, your foot should be at your knee at four and. So at four, your uh, heel can be at your knee, but then you want to go a little bit higher for and, because then you're going to start going back down. The beats of the exercise are up and off. Three, four, peak down. Two, three, touch roll. So continuing on, we're going to start at four, beat four, and once again with the left leg. And what, what I want to do is get the transition done. So four and down, two, three, touch, roll up and off. And notice that simultaneously my uh, left to right uh, transition. When I was rolling the left foot, simultaneously I was peeling off the right foot. So I totally recommend practicing the transition as it takes a while to get used to. Remember to always make sure your legs are parallel. To keep your balance, just press on your abs and let's do this. Up and off, three, four, peak down, two, three, touch, roll, up and off, three, Four, peak down, two, three, touch, roll. When will I mark time during band? You will mark time during band in a music art when we're practicing. Why do I have to know how to mark time in marching band? Marking time is a very important technique to learn. It'll help you match up the music to your feet. Why do we mark time? We mark time to keep feet. Okay, so. We're going to take the one beat and we're going to use it with our left leg. So the first end of the beat, or half the beat, will be putting the leg up, or the foot up. And then coming back down will be the next half, which will be and. So one and. So moving on, we do the same for our uh, right leg. So we uh, get a beat at 90 minutes. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. Let's do it one more time. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. Now, let's see if we can mark time even faster. So this time we're going to go 132 beats per minute. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. I hope you guys learned something from this video. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions or concerns uh, about anything during this whole video. Uh, go ahead and watch the video again as many times as you feel like it's needed. Your choice. And. Go ahead and just practice exercises. The more you mark time, the better that you're going to get at it and the easier it's going to come to you. And really, the more you mark time, maybe the better your music can be. Take care.